Hello, and welcome back to my annual update. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I'm really gonna try and break this habit of posting one video every year around the same time. Like, I think my first one was two years ago in like January, and then my second one was a year ago, just before Christmas, or the other way around. I'm unsure. Um, but I thought today I'd switch it up a little bit, as you could tell, because I've already got my makeup on. So clearly we're not doing any weird makeup routine because I am so much more original than that and that's why I'm going to do the get to know me video. I feel like if, I'm, if I want to start this channel going properly then I need to put a bit of me out there. So I have got a list of questions that are the most basic things in the world but I've got a list of them here on my laptop and I'm very sorry about the lighting but in England it gets dark at like four o'clock so I have a candle and three three lights on at the moment so right number one do I have a middle name no I do not because my dad was really against middle names because he hates his middle name therefore no middle name for me number two what was your favorite subject in school um mine would definitely be drama. Um, I think that was quite obvious by the grades I got at GCC and A level. Drama was always my top grade. But when I used to take maths at GCC, I actually really enjoyed maths. Um, I was really good at it for a couple of years and then I just ended up enjoying kind of like the logic like oh if you know how to do this then you can apply it to other things. I found that quite fun. Um, and I also really liked the creative writing aspect of English. I didn't like analysing books and to be honest it like completely ruined my love of books because I used to read all the time um, and now I have shelves of books that I just haven't read because it put me off. Just read a book to enjoy it, don't analyse it. Um, what's my favourite drink? I <laughs> have a bit of an addiction to Pepsi Max. Here's my half empty one is pretty much empty at this point um glass pepsi max uh, i actually get like legit cravings if i haven't had it for a while or if i haven't had like a substitute like i can handle pepsi or coke if needs be but yeah pepsi max what is my favorite song at the moment um i really like peach scone by hope <laughs> Hobo Johnson. Um, I found it on Facebook and then I was like, this is really weird initially, and then it came up again on my timeline. Um, and I was like, hmm, this is interesting. And so I kept listening to it and I downloaded it. Yeah, it's it's grown. Um, but I also <laughs> have like come to like pop country music. So I really like Dime Store Cowgirl by Casey Musgraves. What would I name my children? Actually, since I was like 12, I've been keeping and updating a um, list of baby names, but I think my current ones that I'm settling on are Mateo for a boy and Amber for a girl. I'm still unsure because I know quite a few Ambers and I think if I were to keep the names for my children, I wouldn't want to have any like predetermined prejudices against the name. Um, do I participate in any sports? I don't. I used to really like rounders and I also used to dance. I haven't in a number of months now, um, but I did dance for about 16 years. Um, so that was kind of my thing. I didn't have time to ever participate in any kind of team sports or anything like that. Um, I need to get back to dancing, but for the meantime. <laughs> um, my favourite book? Um, it's kind of a hard question, like, I feel like everyone has like lots of favourite books because they're all for different reasons, like sentimentality wise, it's got to be Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, because, um, but like in terms of like, a book that I have not been able to put down 
I guess there's a book called Ink, which is by Alice Broadway, which I really enjoyed. I found the like storyline really interesting, and I also really like Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. But yeah, like I wouldn't. I'd recommend them, but I wouldn't. Like if I were to go on a desert island, I'd never be like, yeah, I'll pick that one book to take with me. Mm. Um, my favourite animal has always been, well, I say always been a wolf. It's, for a very long time it's been a wolf. It used to be like a snowy owl because Harry Potter. Mm. Um, but yeah, I love me a wolf. Like if I could get a dog when I'm older that was anything like a wolf, my life would be made. Um, my favourite perfume, I don't really wear perfume, I wear deodorant, I'm gonna go with that. But um, I really like the green DKMY, like, apple one. Because it was my mum's favourite. And so it always kind of reminds me of my mother. Because, oh, I'm cute. Good daughter. <laughs> um, my favourite holiday has got to be... I'm not sure what they mean. Favourite holiday in terms of, like, Christmas, Easter. Those kind of things. I love Christmas. Always. It's easy. Um, but in terms of like vacation um it's got to be either disneyland when i was 12 i went with a friend of my parents and it was like magical because i was still young enough to be like ah. um and then either that or turkey this most recent time i had a really good time um have i finished secondary school i think it originally said high school and i was like um, so yeah, I have. I'm. I finished in. Well, I finished my exams in June of 2018. So I'm currently in my first year out of secondary school. I'm working at the moment because uni wasn't really for me. Like, no. Um, have I ever been out of the country? I have indeed. Um, I feel like these are aimed towards Americans because it's more of a big deal to go out of the country for Americans. But I have been to France a couple of times, um, Belgium, Germany, Spain, and Turkey. And then in terms of country, if we're going to be pedantic, um, I've also been to Scotland because obviously I live in England um, and Scotland is a separate country. That's where I was born, so Scottish queen. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've also been to Scotland. Um, do I speak any other languages? I... I'm always a bit like unsure how to answer this kind of question because I learn a f quite a few languages at school um, and so I have like a minimal understanding of quite a few so I did German for three years, I did Latin for four years, I did French for five years and then I've also kind of picked up a bit of Spanish and a bit of Romanian French is definitely my top language, other than English. Um, but yeah. So I'm currently editing this and I realised that I also did Italian for a year and a half, which I have quite a good understanding of. So like, in order of my ability, it's like French, Italian, German, Latin, Romanian, Spanish. Do I have any siblings? I do. I have three half-sisters and a half-brother, which are all split between my parents and... Everyone finds it really confusing. Um, my favourite restaurant, Cheeky Nando's. Like, who doesn't? Um, but the place I work, Vita Bella, which is in my village, is in Italian. It's number one in Essex, which is where I live. Um, and the food is amazing. I obviously get, like, staff food. Um, I ate there a few years ago, but I don't really remember it. I remember it being good, but um, it's definitely improved over the years. And the food there is, like... There's been a lot of stuff that I'm like, no, I don't like that. And then they'll, they'll give me it and not tell me what it is. And then they'll be like, okay, I like that. <laughs> um, my favourite YouTubers. I'm a basic bitch. Love me some Shane Dawson. Um, like, the route that he's taking his channel down, I think is really interesting because, like, no one else is doing it. Um, and then I also really like James Charles quite recently. He's quite funny. Love him. And Sophia Nygaard, who was a part of BuzzFeed for a while and then left for her own reasons. I really enjoy her, her videos as well. Um, my favourite movie is 
definitely Dirty Dancing. Um, but I also really like Avatar and The Theory of Everything for different reasons. Like Avatar, it just transports you to Pandora. Um, whereas The Theory of Everything is like one movie I cannot watch without crying. I love it. Um, my favourite TV show... I feel like TV shows are like you have to be in a certain mood for a different one. But like one show that I could watch in any mood would definitely be Game of Thrones, which is coming back in four months. I'm so excited. Um, and then I also really love like Gossip Girl, Friends. I'm watching Luther at the moment, which is really fun. But I'm like really paranoid that I'm going to get murdered. So <laughs> brilliant. Um, how tall am I? I am somewhere between 5'5 five five and 5'6. Five I get measured differently wherever I go. Um, doctors always measure me taller. Auditions always measure me smaller. So what is my Starbucks order? Um, it kind of depends what I've been eating like in and around the Starbucks. Um, but I'll almost always have a Frappuccino because I don't like coffee. Um, but I really like the little, I think they're called Java chips. They're like little chocolate chips. Of them um one thing in my closet that i can't live without so like if i kept shoes in my closet which i don't they're on the floor over there um it's got to be my dot martin boots which i need to show you because they're beautiful they're really dirty now but yeah my dot martin heel boots i literally wear them everywhere like i wear them just to go out into town i wear them clubbing like everywhere um, in terms of clothing, it's got to be got to be a good old pair of Topshop jeans, Topshop Joni jeans, high waisted, love them. Wear them to work, wear them out, wear them to town, like here, there, and everywhere. Love them. Um, name one thing you want to do before you die. Easy. I want to go to Harry Potter worlds in Orlando. Like if I could make a wish and do anything, be to go there. What's one food I can't live without? Gotta be like uh, Doritos, chili heat wave, or spaghetti. I love spaghetti, but spaghetti bolognese, which people would think I was lying about because I always have spaghetti carbonara ready meals from Tesco, but I love spaghetti bolognese so much. Um, what's my most listened to song on iTunes? I have a look. Um, so it turns out that my most listened to song on iTunes is Never Think from the Twilight soundtrack, which Robert Pattinson sang. Um, I'm pretty sure it's because it used to be on my sleep playlist or I just used to listen to it on repeat to go to sleep because it's really soothing and nice and yeah, calming. I love it. I think that's, yeah, that's me done with the questions. So. Um, other basic facts, um, my name is Lucy Myatt, no middle name as I said before, um, I'm 19 years old, I'm a Virgo, <laughs> in case anyone was interested, um, yeah, if you have any more questions for me, um, you can leave them in the comments, um, please, if you fancy it, like and subscribe, I'll leave my social media links in the down bar, um, yeah, um, I will hopefully be seeing you very soon.